Hi, so today I'm going to show you how you can export your gradebook into an Excel spreadsheet. So you still can do a full backup and create the backup file that has all of your student data, uh, their quiz their quiz results, um, the answers they've put in their quizzes, the assignments they've uploaded, but sometimes it's handy just to have a, an easy Excel spreadsheet that you can open up if you ever need to go back and refer to students grades. So to do that we need to go into the gradebook. So we'll go in our settings block, choose grades, then in these tabs across the top, we're going to go into the export. Now it defaults to make an open document spreadsheet. Uh, you probably just want to use an Excel spreadsheet unless you're familiar with these other file types, but we're just going to use Excel for this one. So now in the options that come up, so if you have groups set up in your course, you, you will see this. If you don't have groups, this option might not pop up, but you could export the specific groups that you have built in your course. In this case, I want everybody. If you have made any feedback for your students in the gradebook, you can include that in the export as well. Uh, preview rows just shows you how many students are going to show up in the preview before the file is exported. You will get all of your students. This is just for how many show up in the preview. Uh, the display type is how the grades will show up in the, in the spreadsheet. So the real would be the actual raw scores that you've entered in. You could change this to see their percentages on all of their items or their actual letter grade. You can't uh, pick two or all three of these, it's only one, so we're going to leave it as real. And if you needed to have more specific decimal points, you could change that as well. Great items to be included at this point in time, since it's the end of the semester, you probably want to use all of them, but perhaps uh, maybe you just wanted to export out their midterm or one specific item if you were sharing their grades through a spreadsheet. You could select none and then just pick the one or two that you wanted to export out. But in this case, I'm going to keep all of them. And then we click on Submit. So here is the preview that I was talking about. It just shows you what the, what the columns are that you're going to see in your Excel spreadsheet. So there are a few that are empty, uh, just kind of defaults and builds these, but we don't have any information in those. Um, you can see across the top, it's labeling them as assignments, categories, quizzes, category over here. Uh, and I have only six students in this case, so it's showing me all of them. If you had a larger course, you would only see the 10, but all of them will be in the exported file. So then we just click on download. Now my computer is set up that I have this download bar and it shows me the file. So I can just simply click on this and I'll be able to see my spreadsheet. If you do not have this set up and you need to access this file, where did it go? We're going to minimize this and I'm going to go to my computer on my desktop and over here under favorites, you should have a folder called downloads. So it, if it's set by date modified, you'll see it right at the top. If it's sorting by name, um, you might want to sort it by date just so it's easy to find, but it should be the name of your course grades with the Excel icon beside it. So I'll open this up. And then now you can see it's just a regular Excel spreadsheet. So you can probably delete some of these columns if you don't need their email addresses. If you, these are empty, so you might as well get rid of those. You can see it has their names, um, first name, last name. And then here are all the items. You can see there's a category total column um, for the assignments. There's ones for quizzes and there's one for the final exam. So it basically just takes out your marks. It takes out all the columns that you had in your, in your gradebook and creates a column in the Excel spreadsheet. So this you can just save in your, in your course folder wherever you want to save it in Google Drive or on your S Drive or on your desktop, whatever, wherever you're going to be able to find this. But it's just a good idea to have this. It's much easier to find the grades this way than having us use your backup file and having to basically rebuild the course, But which we can do if it comes to that. But if you just need to simply look at, at results, their final marks, this is a much easier way to access it. So, so hopefully that was some useful information for you. And again, if you have any questions or need any help with this, please give us a call in the ETC department. Okay, thanks a lot.